I dare Netflix you to put those out. I think I do have you a video do. of it, yeah. I'm not going to go into detail about this scene because I think it's, it's, it's a bit naughty. We decided to just say some really, really rude things. rude things that we knew wouldn't make it. Hi, I'm Joe Locke. And I am Kit Connor, and we are chatting to Cosmo. Like home. Like home. Yeah. Yeah, no, it feels great. It feels great, you know, to have a sort of family um, that you can come back to and these characters that we know really well. Mm. Um, and a story that we uh, that we we care about so much. Yeah, we filmed it like a, almost a year ago. Yeah, we started in about October. Yeah, and uh, and finished in December. So it's been it's been a little while since then, but yeah, we did. I I, I mean, you know, it's a collaborative process. I don't I wouldn't say that we had that much sort of input in it, but mm. but it was a definitely. It, it's always like when you're on set, it's kind of that's where the the real decisions are made, and that's when the scenes really come to come yeah. to life. I think we can tell that they trust us with the characters now, which is nice. Yeah, plenty, yeah. plenty. Yes, yeah. yeah. too much. Yeah, maybe. it's not my strong suit improv, so <laughs> I sort of leave it to him to lead it. We were talking about again. I'm I'm, I'm not going to go into detail about this scene because I think it's 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 a bit naughty. But we have this scene during the um, the Christmas episode when we're sort of sitting on the, the kitchen counter and it's meant to just be us like, you know, feeling really comfortable with each other and laughing and having fun. And we decided to just say some really, really rude things, rude things that we knew wouldn't make it, but they told us that, that, um, that they'd have music playing over it so you wouldn't really be able to hear what we were saying. So we just said some, some filthy things and, um, and made each other laugh more than I think we've ever laughed on screen. So yeah, it was pretty great, actually. <laughs> and they, they they included some some things, uh, some of the shots they actually used for it. We say some things that are like crazy. So we had to ADR over it. We had to dub over what we were saying. Yeah, they weren't very hot stuff. They weren't very hot stuff of things. <laughs> maybe hot stuff of season three. No, but like, show, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I dare not. You could put those out. I think I do have you a video do. of it. Yeah, it's um yeah, it's great. It's brilliant. We all went to, to dinner we did. the other night. We uh, did. Not all of us. Some of us. But uh, yeah, us and Will and Toby. Uh, and we all yeah had a bit of a just a, a nice little nice little get together, mm -hmm. wasn't it? He's going away, so we had to we'll meet for dinner before he left. It was a little farewell dinner. Yeah, it was very nice. And then we went out to this sort of slightly strange. It's really good. It's Mexican... called the Pink Chihuahua. <laughs> That's what it's called. No, it wasn't. Downstairs, it was called the Pink Trial. Oh, okay, brilliant. It's like I a was members just club. It isn't really a members club. You should sign your name because they want to have a lack of alcohol license. Oh, yeah, I mean, all the secrets have been have been divulged now. It's pretty, but it was pretty fun. Mm. It was. Um, I mean, it w it was kind of fun. It was just like I mean, four of really us together. Thought, but it was great fun. Sat there like, okay. <laughs> you know, and it was like a Wednesday night, so you got to give it some mm. some leeway. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we I've, with those kind of things, it's always quite strange because they'll come in for a few days and, mm. and you know, blow our socks off and then just kind of like, bye. you know, yeah, bye. Done my, done my bit and had a great time. But they, yeah, so they, it was, it was very good fun, you know. Um, it's always great getting to work with new people, mm. especially when they're at the top of their game like those people are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, working with Haley was awesome. Um, you got to work with Eddie Marzan, which was, was like, amazing, you know. Yeah. He's a wonderful, wonderful actor. Yeah, um, and Johnny was obviously, we both had the pleasure of being able to spend a day just just being able to watch him <laughs> do his stuff, basically. Yeah. It was great fun. Yeah, we didn't really have to do all that much as well. We could just sit and sort of, yeah. nothing. They didn't tell us anything. No, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I think it's Eddie always tell you anything? good to just like watch people like who have right. that caliber of talent work and how they, how they work and how they lead a room, I think it's really, that's the way you learn the most. Mm. Definitely more of a transition, yeah. yeah. I think it was like a, you know, even just the simple things like, you know, it's always interesting when you're, when you are improvising, when you're doing a scene and they go, oh, you can't say that because it's, it's not so mm. And I'm like, you know, if I was in this situation, I probably, I might, <laughs> yeah. I might well do that. And in this season we swear a bit more and, and you know, which is a little thing, slightly silly thing. But 
it, it does, it's kind of a testament to the way that the, the that this season is a slight departure from the mm. earlier two. Yeah, well we have this brilliant um, intimacy coordinator called David Thackeray who we've been working with since the very beginning of season one and he's, you know, a very, uh, just a very, very talented man and also a very nice man so we, we kind of really love him and love having him on set and love working with him and yeah it just makes everything a lot easier because you know we were I remember when we'd be doing it and we'd have like a scene when we were like holding hands and he'd be like you know like be there <laughs> I was like, okay and now we're like having sex in the or maybe not who knows but but having sex in in the show and uh, and he was there and you know helped us through yeah. essentially yeah, I mean, it's like almost like a dance when you're choreographing something like that. It becomes very like clinical almost and like the least sexy of anything ever. There's like nothing sexy about it, which is good because you are, you know, you're in a place of work and it's, it's awkward. It's embarrassing a little bit. It's really vulnerable. So having someone who's there just to make you comfortable and make sure that you know what you're doing and, and making it look realistic and look good is, is, is good. You Knowing there's someone there, Google, make sure you don't have like a it's a very good thing. Yeah, I found just making it like making light of it at times as well was quite mm. was quite fun. Not that anyone was there to kind of like, you know, make it extra difficult for us mm. or anything like that. Like I think everyone on set was very supportive of of it and trying to make sure that we felt comfortable. But yeah. Thanks for watching.